It's called Assholes, a theory. I love it. <laughs> How did you uh, come up with this one? Uh, it's based on a book, Assholes, a Theory by Aaron James. It was a New York Times bestseller. Okay. Uh, so when I read the book, I immediately wanted to give my daughter, my 23-year-old daughter, a copy of the book because I, th I felt that most of her boyfriends were assholes. So she needed to, to, read this, to read this book so she could avoid them and do know how to deal with them and know what they are. Uh, but then my second thought was I had to call Aaron James and say, I think this would make a great film. It's a very prescient subject matter. He's a moral philosopher. At a time when our moral compasses are spinning out of control, uh, it was a very prescient film for our time. So the problem with assholes is they can be funny, they can be attractive, they can be entertaining, they're very seductive. The problem is they can be seductive and destructive. So that's, that's the issue. So, so we look at, we go from having fun with it, because John Cleese is, is involved, loved the book, and isn't part of the film. So, you know, we can laugh at assholes in comedy. We also go dark. The, the impact of what an asshole can have on the individual, on institutions, and ultimately on a country. God help you if you elect an asshole to run your country. Yeah. Uh, but then there's a solution. So that the third act is a very positive. There's a no asshole rule that can apply to institutions or individuals. Gives you a formula. It's a, it's a, there's a formula and uh, of, of not having to deal with assholes. So it's a very positive end, and that we have some very strong examples from financial institutions to individuals who have applied the no asshole rule. So uh, there's some solutions. A very positive film. Amazing. Sounds fantastic.